Hey, what's up? I'm Mark Terriblini. In this video, I want to give an update on where the tiny house is. So I am standing right here in front of the tiny house and we are just about ready to pour. Um, gone through a number of inspections to uh, get the approval. Um, I can kind of go over here at the layouts a little bit. So what we got going on here is right over there. That is going to be the washer. That's going to be the kitchen sink. And that is the vanity in the bathroom. And then that's the toilets. And then the shower is there and it's basically all kind of branching in um, you can kind of see through there and branching into one big uh, pipe over here uh, for the sewer so they all kind of connect together um, we're going with a post tension cable system that's what we got going on here um, all the plastic is a vapor barrier so we don't have moisture going up into the slab and up into the floor and could cause moisture problems um, with your flooring. So that's what that is for. Um, and everything checked out. I uh, went through an inspection and um, we actually failed the first one. Uh, the plans were created about a year ago and the requirements for or the standards that they follow changed within that time. And so they were gonna try and make us do the changes that they have currently versus the plans that we had. So we had to fight back a little bit and say, you know, these are the plans you gave us. And so we're gonna follow through with those plans. And they eventually said, okay, that's fine. So we had to um, just kind of have a little back and forth on that. Um, another thing I, um, I wanna to mention too, is like, if you're doing this and you're managing your own project, make sure to keep an eye on things and just look it over, make sure everything seems like, um, like logically like it would be correct. Um, one thing I noticed was that I was over here looking at the, the cable system and you'll see right here, um, there's a pipe going here and there's a pipe going right here. And this cable is literally resting right on top of that pipe. And what they do when they pour the foundation is they come back and they tighten these cables uh, to, to kind of like tighten up the slab. And that looks like a recipe to, for disaster for me because they start tightening this, this cable down, it's going to crack this pipe and cause an issue. And so um, I mentioned it to uh, the foundation crew and they're going to go ahead and make a slight adjustments when they're out here to make sure that it's got plenty of clearance. Um, the, other, the other alternative is to go below the pipe, but I think they're going to just raise it a little bit to give a little bit more clearance. Um, so that's about where we're at. Um, we just got approval. Um, from the city, I had to give an engineer's stamp of approval to show that it was, you know, checked by the engineer and things are um, approved, um, which I did get. Um, and we got to check on the plumbing rough in. This is called the plumbing rough. It's basically just all the plumbing inside of the uh, structure. And then we'll come back later and, and basically run the piping to the structure a little bit later. I believe that's the, the, the water source and then the sewers going basically right right there um, so we got a, a pass on that one thing I had to do actually we failed the plumbing rough in first because um, they didn't wrap these pipes so concrete is not supposed to touch the PVC at all so you can see right there that's the, the toilet uh, plumbing there um, so the plumber was having some family issues and so I just came out and basically just took some contractor, thick contractor bags, wrapped it around there and taped it with some all weather tape, like really sticky tape and kind of like connected it to this vapor barrier here. And just to make sure, you know, all that piping was, you know, not gonna touch any of the cement uh, concrete when it's poured. Um, so I had to go and do that. So I put that on there, had it kind of come out for another inspection and he passed it. So basically at this point, we are in the green, we're clear to go. Um, and so we're probably gonna start pouring concrete next week. And we'll give that about a week to dry. And then at that point, we're gonna be on to framing. And so things are finally starting to move along pretty good on the project. Uh, there, you know, obviously a few hiccups here and there with, with inspections and stuff, but pretty much to be expected. You're always gonna run into a few things here and there. Um, but finally moving forward. And um, this is eventually gonna be you know, like a midterm stay, could do a little bit of short term uh, rental. And what's interesting is I've been Airbnb in a, a room at my place now, and I've been kind of holding off for the last few months because I'm afraid like, because look at this place, we got boards everywhere and, and dirt and more boards over there and, and a big pile of brush and dirt and uh, the yard is kind of a mess. 
Um, and so I didn't want to rent out my place because it's not very like appealing, you know? So I wasn't sure if, you know, I would get really bad reviews and then like not as many bookings. I was really kind of afraid of that happening. And what I found is the best approach with that is to be 100% transparent. And so that's what I did. Um, I still kept kind of like the welcome signs and whatnot. But really, I think what did it is I, I made like this little sign. I'm not sure if this is going to be the name of it ultimately, but I made this little sign and just said, you know, welcome and, you know, expl um, please excuse the appearance and all this. And that kind of helped. Um, People, you know, tell people like what's going on. I'm building this little tiny structure in the backyard. There may be contractors here occasionally. There may be a little bit of noise on occasion. Um, you know, if, if you're not comfortable with that, go ahead and cancel the reservation. And if you're cool with that, you know, great. And honestly, I haven't had any negative reviews. Everything's been really positive. Um, so um, that's been actually really nice that that's been able to kind of continue a little bit at this point. And I have to be a little bit cautious about booking it you know during certain times like I'm not gonna have a, a guest here while they're actually pouring the concrete and stuff like that so you know, got to be you know flexible with that but um, so far everything's going pretty well things are finally moving forward so um, I will be sure to post another uh, video here when I get the foundation going and uh, if you like this content be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video